Hey folks, Machine Repeat here at the Natural Farm Machinery Show in Louisville. And we're going to have a little visit here. Uh, this booth has been attracting a lot of interest. It does every year. What about you? This is... Columbus, Indiana. Okay. Hey, how you doing, sir? This is Kevin Penner with the Heavy Duty Workbench out of Murray, Kentucky. Kevin, is this the 15th anniversary you've been at the show? Yes, we are. This is our 15th year at the National Farm Machinery Show, and we always enjoy coming here every year. And it's we, quite a show, isn't it? It is quite a show. Now, the Heavy Duty Workbench uh, for years. Actually, we talked last year at the show, Kevin. I was walking by, and I tell you. A lot of interest in what you guys have here. It's, it's eye-catching. And you've been in the business uh, how long now, Kevin? For 15 years. 15 years. Okay. And well, tell us about the heavy duty workbench. Well, the uh, workbenches, probably one of the main features is the insides, the way they're made. They're very heavy duty. They roll on machinery type roller bearings, which goes in a heavy duty steel track. And it sits on there. Uh, I gotta pull back on that one, Kevin. Do that again. Wow. And it's just, they're just you made to hold. What, you wouldn't know what they do with a set of Made to hold hundreds of pounds. Wow. <laughs> and there you go. I, are you advising people to use it this way, Kevin? <laughs> uh, well. It's a good example it, of how, how heavy duty this is built, though. Yeah, it's an example. That's but amazing. You can put hundreds of pounds in the right, drawer. Right. Tell uh, us about the construction. Where, the, where is this made? Uh, yeah, my brother-in-law's family manufactures them and okay. we just cover a lot of states here. Sure. And uh, so you guys, I, that must have been, uh, well, let's talk a, a little bit about the flexibility of the heavy duty workbench. I mean, you guys can customize, come in all sizes. Talk about that, Kevin. Okay, yes. Uh, Basically, we start at a four-foot workbench okay. and do up to a 12-foot. So okay. we do a lot of people, sell to a lot of people that do, you know, up to 40, 50, 60 feet, but that will be multiple units. Okay. So 12-foot, like this one here, is the longest in one piece. Okay. And, and colors, I noticed we have a kind of a, some options here. We have seven different standard colors. We have the, our red has been the most popular okay. through the years. We have sold a lot of the John Deere's green and yellow. I bet. We have two colors of blue, which especially the dark blue, like this parse cabinet, yep. is very popular. Okay. The, the black with the stainless steel handles and top is a very sharp top bench. A clean look. Yeah. And then we have two grays. We have the light gray up there, and the newest one is a charcoal gray, charcoal. which we do not have a okay. here. But that charcoal gray has been very, very popular okay. in the last in the last year, especially. You would say red is still number one, though. I would say red is still number one. It's going to make a lot of Case H people very happy. Yeah. <laughs> now the stainless steel top has that been right from day one, or is that a recent? No. Edition, when or? we first started selling it, we only offered the the painted black top, sure. but. We've been doing this. I had a farmer from Arcola, Illinois, okay. come and order a workbench, and he definitely wanted a stainless steel top. Okay. So since that day, 10 or 12 years ago, we started offering stainless steel tops, and wow. probably over half of them that we sell get stainless steel tops. And one of the reasons would be is that these benches are built to last for decades. Uh, actually. They can be passed on into the next generation. Sure, sure. So that, that stainless steel top is sort of a no-brainer when you think of the longevity of the, the bench. So. Well, I've, again, noticed a lot of people last year and this year stopping in to get a closer look, Kevin. Wonder what's some of the feedback you get people the first time they see the heavy-duty workbench? Well, I can tell they're interested. Yeah, a lot of people yeah, feel like they're very heavy duty and that when they build their new shop, that's what they would like to put in. Right. Uh, and do, you we have back, a, do you hear back from people that have installed? Yes. Your customers? We what have do a, they say? A lot of our customers come through the farm show here. Sure. And some of them we've met personally and some we have not previously. And uh, yeah, we get a lot of repeat orders, not because they wore the other ones out, but because they want more storage. And oh, sure. We just have a lot of customers that 
think they're the best thing. That's awesome. Now, what would you say, Kevin, with the, with the flexibility you have in size wise, what would you say would be the couple most popular widths that people get into off the bat? I would say that 10 foot and 12 foot units have been the most popular. 10 and 12, okay. We sell a lot of eights and sixes also. Okay. But those. Well, on the cost side, let's just say, you know, take a 10 foot. I mean, what, what are we ballpark talking about? Uh, 10 foot, the ballpark is around $3,700 okay. for a 10 foot okay. with a powder coated top. Okay. And when we go to the stainless steel, we're going to add uh, $65 a running sure, foot. Sure. How about down to like the, the four foot? What is that? What is that really? The four foot is. That's... You need bifocals like I do, yeah. buddy. Uh, yeah, 20, 2400 and some gotcha. change for us. Okay. It's all right in that foot. budget when you're working on that new shop. You got to have the high end bench like this. It uh, fits right into guys, like you say. You must run into guys that plan plan for this purchase as they update their right. shop. Yeah. We do get a lot of people that have been seeing these for years and uh, when they build their shop they come and right. and uh, now order benches. Now in terms of selling, if people want to find you, Kevin, you, your website is actually, is it theheavydutyworkbench.com? Yes, it is. It is okay, theheavydutyworkbench.com. All spelled out. Don't right. forget the in front of the, heavy need duty the. workbench. Okay. Right. That's how to find uh, Kevin at, online, folks. And if you're at the show here at, in Louisville, uh, again, 15 years for Kevin, you guys are looking. This is a North Wing. You're like, what, booth 48? Uh, what is it, 4873 or something like that? Yeah, it's something like yeah, that. 48, <laughs> high 48s. Yeah. Okay. Now, Kevin, it's kind of a family business here, too, uh, as I pan around. Uh, we have new, new son in law, Clark. Where's the way of Clark? Now, folks, These are Clark, my daughters. Okay, now we've got to give Clark a shout out here. Clark just married like a week and a half. Yeah. And here you are at the farm show. That's, uh, that's a good family man. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. it's been really awesome being here two days. And you're from you Kansas, grew up in Kansas. Central, South Central Kansas. Okay. Okay. And let's see, we also, Kevin, who do we have? This is, and, uh, this is my daughter Kaylee. Kaylee? Hello? And this is my daughter Keisha, which is very good, Clark. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And this is my son Travis here that's trying Travis, to sell. Travis is busy selling, that's good. <laughs> and he's just uh, 19? He's 19. Yeah. Well, what, what's it like to work with uh, the family, Kevin? That's got to be kind of fun. Uh, well, it's uh, very good working with family. We feel comfortable around each yeah. other, and we can tell each other pretty straightforward what we think, and right. uh, so it works good. We we already know what each other is thinking, and it right. works good to work together. Right. And you have a your farm background. You actually you still farm, Kevin? Yourself? We do farm some. Yeah. We don't have big acres, but. Uh, so this has kind of been a, I'm not sure if this is the sideline or the farming is the yeah, sideline. Yeah, right. Now well, Kevin, we got to talk a little bit more about customization in terms of the uh, the drawers. Tell us about that, how, you know, what guys can get into here. Okay, we have numerous drawer sizes. The one with the four drawers here, yep. that's been our old staple. That's okay. in the beginning, 15 years ago, that's all we offered was the four drawers. Okay. Then we got to where some people wanted a, a deeper drawer where we'd put the two bottom ones as one or the two top ones as one. Okay. And then we've got to where we do more drawers. We've got the five drawers, which adds a little cost. We've also got one of the seven drawers, which will have five three-inch drawers okay. at the top. Now and we all one of those drawers open, Kevin. We also have dividers available. We have drawer mats available for the bottom. Those are the three inch dividers. Okay. These are the five inch dividers. And they can be configured in different sizes. So you can really make this exactly like you want it. Yeah. How about on the cabinet side? Again, we, we, we panned over and we saw some of that, but how, how can they be customized? Well, in the parts cabinets, we've got the five foot tall ones. We have seven foot tall ones with different drawer configurations. This is our standard ones. This is a 20 drawer. 
This is the 10 drawer with two doors and adjustable okay. shelves. Or they can be with all doors and shelves. Okay. And then we have one that's the same size, only with a lot more drawers. It's got 28 drawers, smaller drawers. And then we have the tall, seven foot tall parts cabinet, okay. which has 16 drawers at the bottom with doors and adjustable shelves on the top. And that seven foot tall will equal up to the same height as our upper cabinets. Okay. Try and pull that uh, brochure. That shows the upper cabinet. Oh, nice. So, that. so the parts cabinets will reach to the exact same height. Right. So now I gotta, I, I gotta pan up again here, folks. The John Deere uh, color scheme. Travis, I understand there was a customer uh, of yours. Look at this. How nice is that? And that's, that's in your local area. Here. Yes, it's beautiful. Five miles away. That look pretty good in the shop if you're in the green tractors, folks. Travis, thanks for showing us that. That is awesome. Here it shows the upper cabinet. Sure. Uh, in the John Deere green and yellow. And did you tell me, Kevin, you even had someone that wanted a reverse, like yellow? Mostly yellow? Uh, yes, we've had where... You actually that customized we can it for them? Yeah, the framework is in green, the drawers are yellow, the handles are green. And we do custom colors. We have done, for the University of Kentucky, we have done the, the purple color for the, the Kansas, uh, oh, is it K-State? K-State uh, Wildcats, we have, yeah. We have done uh, red with gold handles into Iowa. Now, if you tell me you've done maroon and gold for our Minnesota Gophers, you're going to make me happy. <laughs> Not well, that you yet. might you might be the first one okay. with that. <laughs> we'll work on that. Or, or Vikings gold and purple, how about that? Yeah. Uh, that's great. So the uh, the way folks can to customize these is kind of endless, Kevin. It is. It's... That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for telling us about all the different configurations. And one more thing, just to touch, just to give perspective here, what are we talking for weight? The weight of the workbenches themselves, like this 12-foot unit here, it weighs between 12 and 1,300 pounds. Okay. And you can put a few hundred pounds per drawer. That's sure. the way they're designed. And you can put a few thousand pounds on top, the way they're designed. It's, they're just... And, well, and probably the even more than the weight, just the way they're built, they're built for longevity. Like right. These can go a lot of times be passed on to the next generation. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled uh, on the auctions. I think a lot of times it would maybe stay with the family. It would be such a value piece. But uh, again, thank you for telling us, Kevin, the, the heavy-duty workbench. Uh, check it out, folks. Stop in and see Kevin at the show.